Hey guys, welcome to Mad Scientist Barbecue. I'm Jeremy Yoder, and today we're getting ready for a steak competition. And so I'm over at my buddy Jay's house from the Barbacoa Boys, and we're going to be competing together tomorrow. Here we are tonight, testing everything out. I bought a bunch of steaks. I mean, way too many steaks. And we're going to try them a million different ways, and the one that's the best is the way we're going to try it tomorrow. cast iron see the fillets. Then we, I think we need to try one ribeye in the cast iron. The sirloins, I mean, have some like crazy idea. Like, I wanted the sirloins, I want to actually cover it and rub. And then if that's okay, maybe try one of the ribeyes and rub. Yeah. Does your wife eat dinner already? All right, maybe we should do some fillets for the wives first. Gold, huh? It tastes better. It's, and it has a higher fat content, that's why it tastes yeah. And it's yellower because of all the grass. It's supposed to be good for you, better for you. Yeah, like it has more vitamins and stuff yeah. from the grass. And I'm happy to believe that. I'm not going to question totally. it or dig into it really deeply. Totally. So if I can eat the Kerrygold butter and yeah. believe that it's better for me, yeah. no question. It's going to be better for you. I totally. guess it's the same with eggs, right? That are like, you know, pasture-raised chickens. The yeah. yolk is brighter, you know? Probably because there's more B vitamins. We used to raise chickens when I was growing up. Oh, yeah. And they would leave the barn in the morning and they go like wandering around the woods and in the fields and stuff and eat bugs and oh, like forage around. And then they would come back at night and they would lay eggs. And uh, the eggs, like the yolks, were a dark orange, almost red even sometimes. Wow. Wow, oh, those look great. You heard of these guys, Griswold? No. Yeah, these are the OGs, man. This pan yeah. is like 150 years old. Is it really? Yeah. Dang! Oh, look at that. That's how they made them back then. Wow. Alright guys, so I got this PK grill at the Barbecue HQ. Went over there and bought one. Went and got the PK grill because a lot of people swear by it. And so, we're really going to put it through its paces tonight. We're going to cook some sirloins, which is what I eat all the time and some filet mignon, and then a bunch of ribeyes that we're gonna be using in the competition. So, we'll put it through its paces and let you know what we think. <sighs> Dude, those look good. Is it? <laughs> Wagyu filet mignon. Not for the competition, but the real question is, why not? Those are pretty. Those are really pretty. Yeah. I'm really curious to see about this dry aged beef fat though. Sounds good. Oh, this is gonna be good, man. So the master chef on cooking the fillets is Jay from Barbacoa Boys. You may recognize him from some of the other videos that I've done. And so he's got a killer way to make them, and I cannot wait to eat them. Yeah, there we go. We're just doing nice and simple: salt and pepper, butter, sear. A little bit of garlic, a little bit of rosemary, a little spoon it on in the end. Should be pretty good. Oh, mouth is watering. It's starting to smell it too, so I'm excited. We're going to have an obscene amount of steak at the end of this, but I'm not mad. Oh, man. That's right. <laughs> Dude. Dude, if these look this, this good, I'm thinking maybe this is how we do these ribeyes, man. Yeah, I hope not. good. All right, the practice filet mignon that we're eating right now, um, it's obviously not the cut we're going to be cooking tomorrow, but the crust, we get like butter and garlic infused in, in the little cracks, it's out of sight good. Uh, this is killer. What's up, buddy? What's yeah. up, guys? Hold on. Oh, hey, it's Jeremy, too. Look at this. Hold on. Yeah. What's happening, guys? What's going on? Oh, we're just, we're we're just practicing. you know. Oh, practice that. going. Does this look familiar? So for those of you who are just joining us, uh, tomorrow is our, uh, where are you guys at? <laughs> uh, 
T tomorrow is our uh, uh, steak cook-off. And so Jay, uh, Jay from the Barbacoa Boys and Jeremy from Mad Scientist Barbecue. Uh, look at that. You guys are crushing it. So obviously Jeremy being the Mad Scientist he has, he's got this thing broken down in every data-driven right. analysis in order to cook a ribeye steak. Right, and then look at, uh, look at all this practice right here. Oh, look at that. Okay. Your, uh, Get the BMB charcoal. BMB charcoal. Nice. Let's get some Creekstone steaks. We're going to try quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think we got almost 20 teams tomorrow, so it'll uh, it'll be good. Awesome. $1,000 first place. I have a yeah, feeling you guys, might, uh, you guys might have some money on your name. So. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Time will tell. Surprise guest uh, with the little Weber. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. See if he wakes up on time. Team, team Weber might show up. So, oh. anyways. <laughs> uh, cool. So, and we got a we got the big twin eagles trailer. I don't know if you saw us playing around that thing earlier today. Ooh. That thing's uh, that thing stood away out back, and Joe's ready to go tomorrow. So wow. he was uh, yeah. he was practicing earlier too. So, all right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, man, see you tomorrow. All right, Later. See you tomorrow. All right, see how this works. There we go. I had a keen idea, so I thought, why not take some dry aged beef fat, render it down, and use that instead of butter. Uh, and so my thought was, we're going to go select all the steaks. None of them are going to be dry aged tomorrow, so they're going to bring in the steaks for the steak competition so it's as fair as possible. But I was thinking, if we could be the only team to get dry aged steak flavor on our steak, it could set us apart and maybe put us over the edge and allow us to win. So we're going to test it out now, and if it's great, we're going to repeat it again tomorrow. So. Yeah, I just had to drop kick him. <laughs> Oh, well, ugh, party foul. Well, your dog didn't get a steak. This is test number one. We cooked this on the Kamado, and uh, we smeared a bunch of rub all over it. And um, we're just going to see what that's like, see how that compares to just salt and pepper. Taking a bite from the, the cap, spinalis. Apparently that's where the judges eat from. Indeed. All right, here we go. Tastes pretty good, though, man. I definitely get the salt. Mm hmm I get the beef. I can see why they do rub if it's just one bite. Yeah. I wouldn't want it on the whole steak, but... It's like music. Yeah, if we add the sear, I think we're in business. I think this is the level of doneness that we need, though. Yeah. It's good. Mm. So visually, more sear. Yeah, flavor's pretty if good. We just got that crust on the outside. I think this is really good. No, oh. I think that rub's definitely money. Why, thank you, Jay. Yeah. Is that your rub? Nice. <laughs> okay, Arnold. Get that one again. Oh, have you guys heard Jay's Bill Clinton impersonation? I can't really do Bill Clinton at all. But I'd imagine his is great. <laughs> He's so good. I'm... Go! You got to light! The other thing about charcoal than open flames is you don't lose your eyebrows. I legitimately have like half the hair on this arm that I do on this arm. Try this, Jeremy? Yeah. Give it a shot. Give it a try. Over the top, salt, pepper, butter. All right. It's too salty, but I love everything else. Yeah. It was slightly too salty, I think. Dude, that's good. That's really good. Dude, this is good. <laughs> it had a good crust, too, right? Yeah, we actually got the sear on this one. That's the difference. No. Oh. That's everything. Uh, four Rendering. 450 degrees over here. Like that. <laughs> right now we're turning up a steak and we got some bacon rendering down here. We're going to use that bacon fat. It could be the secret weapon. But we don't know. Dried fat. Meh. Not so great. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it just didn't really show up as dry flavor. Well, one thing I noticed in some of the others, though, was that um, that was forcing like the spinalis to like roll over. No. Yeah. And then I think that was maybe cooking more than the center. Mm, maybe too much. What do you think? Let's try it without. Okay. Okay. Ideally, we would have started this at like noon, <laughs> and then we'd be. We could have done each one thoughtfully. Okay. 
That's pretty good. All right. Sounds good. Okay, see you together. I think it's screaming hot too. I like it. As my pappy used to say, looking pretty good in me. Maybe. Ow, 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 ow. Yep, yep. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna do that side. Oh. But you got marked. I think that's the way to do it. All on one side. Okay, so we this way. Yes. Yes. So pretty. Bubbling bacon juice. But let's see if the steak is melt in your yeah, mouth. Let's see it. Okay. Here we go. Take the cap off. All right, all right, my man, my man. All right, judges, here we go. Looks about medium, my piece. Next year, maybe a little bit more. Right there, that's right. That's pretty good. That's it. That's pretty good, man. I think that's the perfect combination of everything. Oh yeah, the bacon. That's what it was like. It's it's got like the the fat has a different mouth. It's the bacon because mm -hmm. it's different fat. I mean, that's everything you want to take. It's pretty good, man. That's good. My papa used to say you can't beat that with a stick. I think this is the exact level of doneness that we're going to want, right? All right, I think we've got a game plan for tomorrow. Yeah, and we need to get some sleep, so we're tip-top shoot. Oh, yeah. Hey, Eric. How's it going, man? Good, good. Hi, Hi Erica. Good morning. We didn't finish practicing until like 1 a.m. So. <laughs> that's right, Jay. I'm like, <laughs> did the stakes keep getting better and better? Actually, they did. did. I'm still like the whole judges. That's the thing. thing. It's like... The, oh, the it, red ones? Yeah, oh, it will yeah. change color okay. when it heats. Just pull off a whole hog. Yeah. Open it up. There's an alligator in there. Hey, it's just <laughs> yeah. covered in bacon. Appetizer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 uh, <laughs> a little something on the grill. <laughs> But instead of putting like wood in its mouth, you gotta put like a chicken or a duck or something. Like it just. I got a chihuahua. We can yeah. Stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> gotta have your big old crocodile yeah. Dundee knife though with you yeah. during that video. That's not a knife. That's a knife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Arvin just turned me on to your videos this morning. Oh, okay. Um, I was watching the kosher. Dude, that is a rig. Is that a stereo? Yeah. Wow. Man, they're not playing. That's so yeah, cool. They're not playing. <laughs> hey, I feel like bacon wraps, uh, jalapeno poppers. Dude. How's it going, man? Hello, oh. Hey, you're uh, the Yoder dude. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> and, hey. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm oh, Jay. Jay? Nice to meet you, yeah. Right on. Are you guys making barbecue? Yeah, yeah. Right well, on, we're, dude. We're competing. You're competing? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That's no fair. Yeah, right? well. Because you guys got some provenance and, you know, too much experience. Yeah. <laughs> not, not with steaks. <laughs> not with steaks, though. I mean, this yeah. is our first uh, steak contest, actually. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are competing, and you're just watching, right? Just... No, we're, we're a team. Oh. Man, we're gonna lose. No, look, look at that guy's not screwing around, man. I, I don't know. There, there's some uh, way more serious competitors uh -huh. here than us today. Wow. Uh, Jay called me and was like, "Hey, man, you want to do this?" And I'm like, "Uh, sure." Uh -huh. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. I thought worst well, case insane. scenario, we have fun hanging out and cooking steaks and yeah. get last place. Oh yeah. And I'm like, I'm game. That's fine with me. Okay. Yeah. So you're gonna pick a chip. This will be your order of steak selection. We're gonna line you up one through fifteen, and then reverse the line fifteen through one. Okay. So what'd you get? Ten. Ten. All right. So you'll be able to pick number ten. We'll turn around and you'll be pick again. So you're in a good spot. Sweet. Well, then just hold on to that. I don't. Once I do that steak selection, after you pick your second steak, you'll turn that in, and I'll give you a try. Want to watch me pull that through my hand? Okay. <laughs> wow, <he's a> ninja. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, and welcome to the Barbecue HQ, the uh, our first state cook off association event. Someone coming in on two. I'm gonna go pop the drone up real quick. Right. You want to leave that?
Jay, I was wrong. What? Uh, all the steaks we cooked were prime. Oh, yeah? Yeah, these are all Jay's. <laughs> 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 it was tasty, so. Yeah. Um, we're going to order some tri tip. Wow. Here you go. Awesome. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, appreciate it, man. Thanks. No problem. Enjoy. There we go. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, so like I said, this is going to be a little bit of a soggy pizza, and Americans sometimes aren't used to it. That's amazing. That looks great. Oh, uh, ready to try one? Yeah, yeah. You want to go all the way? Yeah, uh, let's go for it. All right. This reminds me when I used to do competitive weightlifting, we had chalk. We go like this and like... It tastes hand. identical. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be making pizza today. This is awesome. on the bottom makes all the difference right wow that little firmness that bite through yeah yeah i mean eating chewy pizza you don't know that you're eating chewy pizza until you have stuff that's not chewy um this is great but i really want to try this crust yeah. the crust is where it is it's amazing it's so simple that's the thing like, growing up i would throw away the crust this i would not throw away <laughs> <laughs> eric is like I don't know if Eric's an expert, but when he's talking about pizza, I believe that he's an expert. <laughs> so good. All right, Jay, first ever pizza I've ever made. Here you go, man. Nice, buddy. Yeah, that looks good. Cream cheese plus cheese plus bacon. Dude, whatever you put that on is gonna be good. Put that on a used tire. It'll taste good. I guarantee it. All right, I never understood why in these competition shows, it would be like seconds from turn in and people would be running up with their food. And I'm thinking to myself, we had literally all day. Okay, these jalapeno poppers that we're making right now, we had all day to get them ready. But we're screwing around and testing them. It's like, I like this, let's do this. And then at the end of it, we're like, oh no, we get, right now we have seven minutes to get them turned in. And we're trying to get this thing as hot as possible to get them done. Except it's not in there. That didn't go well. <laughs> oh, here's, here's the capture pen, thank you. <laughs> oh man, that was ridiculously close. I feel like an idiot. We turned it in though. Ooh, yeah. So these are the two steaks that we're going to be trimming up right now for our competition. And the thing that we're looking for specifically is to have a big spinalis. So on this steak in particular, it's got a huge cap and that's actually where the judges eat from. So they'll cut into the center of the, the rest of the steak just to see doneness, but what they're going to eat is that cap. So we want to make sure we have a big thick cap so people get tender juicy bites. All right, so we're doing these steaks the way you saw the last one last night. We're going to do our first steak maybe a little bit differently just to see if you like it that way. Um, just to see if we can get better grill marks on it. Uh, but the seasoning and the process is basically identical for those. spot to try to get extra extra sear. There we go. That looks awesome. Got right. those hash marks on there. So if you're wondering why we're taking it off the grill, the reason behind it is this. I'm not trying to cook the steak right now. I'm simply looking for the aesthetic of those cross hashed marks. And so we got that on this side. And so in an effort to keep it from continuing to cook, I took it off and I'm reheating those grill grates in there to get screaming hot so we can sear the other side just the same way. And then we're gonna try and uh, throw it in the cast iron and just get a great sear on the exterior where the entire outside edge is brown. That's where you get all that flavor build up. Here we go, 
go, Jay. Yes. This is the real deal. Dude, the cat though. Do you want to like paper towel, like get. I think it's going to be medium rare on this guy. One side benefit I didn't anticipate was uh, making cool friends and uh, them giving me food. I'm always the one giving people samples and giving people food, so this is a nice change of pace for me. So I'm super pumped about eating great food that I did not make or have any part in, so I'm just going to take a bite of this and see how it is. <laughs> That's good. Oh. Dude, that's, that's good. good. Oh. And I want a piece of steak to go, okay? A piece of steak, and then a bite of onion, and this is gonna be magic. Mushroom. Bite of mushroom, it's got onions in it. But, but unbelievably good. Thanks, Todd. This is my happy place, man. Greenhorn Barbecue makes killer mushrooms. <laughs> Dude, I'd pay money for these. So the steak cook-off we're doing today is all about supporting the Simi Valley Police Explorer Post. And so I'm here with Annabelle, and so I'm kind of curious, what is the program about? What do you guys do? The Simi Valley Police Explorer Post is a program designed for teenagers ages 14 to 20. Um, we are a program that teaches kids to become leaders and become role models in the community. We work different events like Cajun and Street Fair all over the community. Um, we go on competitions and we all we do exposure trips and it is pretty much we learned how to work as a team. Annabelle, if you had to describe the most valuable lesson you've learned through this program, what would that be? I think the most valuable lesson that I've learned over is don't get hit in the face with ashes. <laughs> oh, it's all over me. <laughs> I think the most important lesson that you learn about being part of this program is definitely the importance of camaraderie. Um, this is a program where you work together with you know, groups of people who are completely different from you and who have totally different backgrounds. And you learn to work together and honestly you become just one big family. So if you guys want to support this program, I'm going to include some links down below. Feel free to click on those if you want to explore what the program is about and if you feel like donating or supporting it, um, I by all means encourage that. Hopefully we can keep this program going for generations to come. All right, Annabelle, thank you for taking the time to explain the program to me. I really appreciate it and uh, good luck to you in the future. Thank you so much. I hope see your scores, how you scored in each of the categories. <laughs> All right, so competition is over, and we didn't win, but I had a blast doing it. I did, yeah. Yeah, so, it was good. yeah, hang out, cook barbecue, eat food, try other people's food. So one of the really cool things was a lot of the other dudes who were cool, they would make their, like, appetizer or whatever and bring around stuff for everybody else. And then they would cook their steaks. You get two steaks, one steak, they don't turn in. So some of those guys cut Shop up the steaks up. and, you know, give everybody a try. And so... That was cool, hanging out, doing barbecue, um, cooking steaks, it was a blast. So, um, I didn't look at all the numbers yet, but we came basically directly in the middle of the pack for both the steaks and for the appetizer. And so for me, totally happy with that. Um, we didn't get last place, yeah. which there's, is there's nice. There's an award for that, which we didn't get. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that, that was an upshot to getting last place. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's... <laughs> I think that's why they want somebody to take credit for last place. Yeah. And the only way to do it is like, hey, guess what? You get this you fancy knife. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had fun. So I think what I learned from it was, 
you know, the steak that you're going to cook at home to feed your family isn't probably going to be the steak in the competition. Nope. Like, what about you? What, what did you learn? Oh, for sure. It's just, it's a different beast. It's, it's, it's pretty similar to uh, any barbecue competition, you know, it's just different. Yeah. It's uh, salted, tasted, looks different, you know, different beast. Yeah. Would you do it again? Oh, yeah. 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 No, that's fine. Yeah. I had a great time. And, um, you know, I, I think that if you're interested in doing a barbecue competition of any sort, um, do it. But do it not expecting to win a ton of money, but do it knowing that you're going to have a blast with your friends and with the other guys who are into barbecue. Because that's what I got out of it. Yeah. You know, I got to hang out with Jay all day, which is fine by me. And, um, you know, cook some steaks and just a, a really good overall time. Yeah. Thanks for watching Mad Scientist Barbecue. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, hit the like button down below. You can also subscribe to the channel and you can follow me and Jay on our Instagrams. I'm at Mad Scientist Barbecue. He's the Barbacoa Boy, so I'll include links for both of those down below. Uh, Jay's one of my best barbecue friends and uh, if you haven't checked out his stuff, you need to. So until next time, keep experimenting and good luck with your barbecue. Take care.